I have long been a Google Chrome user, but recently I gave Safari on iPhone a try, and honestly, I'm quite impressed. Today, I want to highlight the incredible way you can remove distracting items like ads from any web page, how you can use reader mode to get straight to the details on an article, how you can listen to an article with dictation, and more. Let's start with how to remove ads using a feature called Hide Distracting Items. The scenario here is one that you've seen inevitably a million times. You open up a website, and suddenly there's banner ads, pop-up video ads, plus more ads in line with the text. It's absolutely insane. Safari has a truly magical way that you can get rid of these ads. And it's honestly just plain fun to do. At the bottom of your page, click on this icon, then click Hide Distracting Items. You now possess the power of Thanos to eliminate ads with the snap of a finger. Or I guess the tap of a finger in this case. To do this, simply tap on any distracting item. It will highlight the object to make sure you're not accidentally going to get rid of something that you actually care about. Tap hide and watch it disappear. Keep going until all of the distracting items are taken care of and then click done. Now sit back and enjoy distraction-free viewing of your fajita seasoning recipe. <laughs> After you're done, if you need to hide more, you can go back into the hide mode the same way as before. If you've hidden things by mistake, simply click Show Hidden Items to bring the page back to its original form. Next up is Reader Mode. If you read a lot of news or other articles, this feature is incredible. When you open a page where a reader will work, you'll see a quick flash at the bottom which says Reader Available. It's quick, so I'll pause so that you can see. Then to enter reader mode, simply click that same icon as before at the bottom of the page. Then rather than individually selecting the distracting items, click show reader to automatically remove all of those ads and put the text into a consistent font and presentation. If you click the icon again, you can choose to change the background color or the font to make it better for your eyes. You can also zoom in and out to make the font larger as well. Reader mode works great on more traditional news sites, but some sites may trip it up. So if it's not working right, you can always click Hide Reader and go back to the original website appearance. If you have a specific site that you use frequently and where Reader does work well, my recommendation is to go into the related action, the three dots, and select Use Reader Automatically. Now, anytime you visit a page on that website where Reader is available, it will automatically use it, saving you time and hassle. It is truly incredible. Okay, the final big feature is called Listen to Page, and it uses text to voice to dictate the contents of an article. This feature is tied in with Reader, so it won't work on pages where Reader is not also available, but you can select it without going into that Reader mode. Once again, we are in that same menu, but this time we're clicking on the option Listen to Page. A quick chime will sound, and the page will begin to read in whatever voice you've selected for Siri. Speaking of, if you don't like the voice, it's under Apple Intelligence and Siri in your settings menu. When using dictation, you can set the speed anywhere from 0.75 up to two times speed in intervals of 0.25. Once you set a speed, it will remain for the next time, so you won't have to increase it each time if you're a speed listener like me. You can pause the article at any time, and there are navigation buttons to jump back 10 seconds or forward five seconds. While listening, you can even lock your phone and the audio will continue to play. So you can either use it standalone as like a podcast, or you can use it accompanying you reading the article at the same time. This feature is super handy, but it's not perfect. It's an AI voice, and it's Siri at that, so it will mispronounce words. But if you like listening over reading, which I absolutely do, it can be really useful to consume written content. There's a few more small items I wanted to call out that you may find useful. In the same reader menu, you can click on the page with a little magnifying glass on it to search for a word on the page. It's the equivalent of find on a computer. The small a and the large a at the bottom will allow you to zoom in and out, not only on reader, but also just on a regular web page. Finally, you can click the related action three dots again to see other settings. An occasionally useful one here is the ability to request a desktop version of a site rather than the mobile one. This can be helpful when things aren't displaying correctly on a poorly optimized site. Also in this menu is the ability to save sites to the reading list. Once you add something to the reading list, it shows up here alongside your favorites and history. You can do this to store articles you don't have time to read or want to revisit later. Once you're finished with them, you can simply swipe them away to delete them. 
Another way to save items to the reading list can be found under the Share menu as well. There's also a ton to explore within Settings. Here's a couple of highlights. You can change your default search engine to one of five different options if you don't like Google. If you're not used to the address bar being on the bottom, which a lot of people coming from Google Chrome are not, you can move it back to the top. You can require Face ID to unlock your private browsing tabs. You can download items on the reading list that we just discussed so that you can catch up with these articles when you're out of service or on a plane. And those are just to name a few. Now, if you found any of the tips in this video useful, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you enjoyed this video, you may like this one about how to stop some of those annoying pop-ups that you get in iPhone apps. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.